name's Andrew Andersons. I was the architect for City of Risotto. I suppose one thing I should mention is way back, I think in 1989, the then Lord Mayor, Jeremy Bingham, uh, commissioned me to do a sort of cultural needs study for the City of Sydney. And this led me to interviewing organisations like ACO, Music of Viva, Sydney Symphony and so on. And they are all very much saying that what Sydney desperately needs is a medium-sized concert hall. But how it actually happened was, was quite interesting. The, the AMP Society was, was looking at producing a new DA for this block. You know, Angel Place, the office building and, and the bit that the hall is built on. And they were very keen to uh, have more car parking than was allowable under the new code. So I came up with the idea, knowing that there was this study establishing the need for the facility, why not incorporate a concert hall? And, and you know, everyone was enthusiastic about it. It was, it was an all-win situation. The, the AMP got their extra car parking. But basically, the taxpayer didn't pay for the hall. It was all paid for by concessions. It's not often that a first-class cultural facility is provided at no cost to the taxpayer. I think probably my favourite moment was Richard Tognetti standing on the stage of an unfinished auditorium, but the volume's already there, playing his wonderful, you know, Stradivarius or whatever it is, fiddle and saying, hey, the sound is really good, I like it. So that, that, that always is a moment of great relief when a great musician like Richard Tognetti gives it the thumbs up. I think audiences love the intimacy of the venue. Chamber music, it's a kind of interactive process and, and you, you have to be close, but you also have to have a sense of, of togetherness and, and the horseshoe shape of the balconies makes people feel they're together. Not only look at the stage, but they're conscious of each other. And, and it's the total interaction between performers and audience that make for a really successful performance venue. Now that it's been running for 20 years, it's, it's good to step back and look again. You know, the, the hall is hidden from view, so I've got this idea we could have a great light show on the outside of the building so that this glass cylinder becomes an amazing beacon of light that attracts people in. So it should be a work of art in its own right.